guys welcome to my channel today i decided to do, decided to do a breakdown of what happened and between jay-z and kanye west so you guys know that jay-z and kanye west were two peas in a pod at one point they were like brothers and suddenly as kanye got closer and closer to jay-z's status jay-z and beyonce no longer hung out or wanted to be around kanye and removed basically all support from Kanye as he got bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I decided to look into what exactly happened and it's quite interesting. So you guys, please watch the video that's coming up soon. And if you can watch the full video so you can get the full idea of what happened. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. What Kanye West and your relationship with him, which you allude to a little bit yeah. now. Was the last time you talked to him? I, I hate Kanye the other day, just telling him that he's my brother. I love Kanye. I do. It's a complicated relationship with us. You Why know, is it complicated? Yeah, because, you know, Kanye came into this business on my label. So I've always been like his big brother. And we're both entertainers. Mm -hmm. So it's always been like a little underlying competition there with your mm -hmm. big brother there. But to be number one, I'ma beat my brother. be number one, I'ma beat my brother. We both love and respect each other's art too. So it's like a, we both, everyone wants to be the greatest in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like a lot of other factors that play in it. Basically, he, um, he was about to leave out the room. And he had played the songs. He's like, yo, after this song, Guru, uh, I'm going to the lounge. Uh, I was like, yo, I got one beat to play. I got to play you this beat. I got to play you this beat. I put it on. He just started bobbing his head to it. <laughs> Let me give you one of them looks, like, <laughs> that's how you know you got a heat rock. Let me give you that right there. <laughs> so then, um, he said, H to the is O, V to the is A, for shizzle my dick, so used to dribble down the BA. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I went to the bathroom, right? I called my mom and said, Mom, we about to make it. We really gonna make it this time. <laughs> it's about to be on now. <laughs> He made crazy money off Jay's 2001 album, The Blueprint. It was classified as the biggest hip-hop album of all time, the one that was the highlight of Jay's career, and this was largely due to Kanye's dope beats. Don't fuck the game with fucking producers, man. This ain't a fucking game for me. I don't give a fuck about a nigga trying to classify me as a producer. My beats was rap at one point, dog. I wasn't always having hot beats. I learned how to make hot beats. I'm focusing on rhyming now. I'm be the fucking best. And I'm be charting with these niggas. I'm be chart. I'm gonna come out number one. Hopefully, if it's not the first album, be the second album. If it's not the second album, be the third album. I'm not just trying to say I'm gonna come out and sell 10 million, but I'm gonna do everything I got in my power, and I gotta one up because I just hear my beats first. Vision. He was already familiar with Rockefeller, so he went around the office playing demos for different members from marketing to production. Eventually, Jay acknowledged his talent and signed him as an artist under the record label. And I'm the newest member of the Rockefeller team. Jay later admitted that they only did that because they didn't want to lose Kanye as a producer to another label. And but to be number one, I'ma beat my brother. Be number one, I'ma beat my brother. What part of the videos that you signed are you most no. proud of? Because you're responsible for a lot of careers out here. You have to say Kanye West, the most successful at this, at this stage of his career and his growth and the pro and the progress that he's made is like, it's unbelievable. You know, like when he first came in, it was he wasn't the, the uh, artist that he is today. You know, but he always aspired to be from that moment. Like from the moment he walked through the door, when he was just the producer not just the producer when he was the producer you know he had it in his eyes he was saying stuff like you know i am the savior of chicago and i was like what are you even talking about you don't even have a single <laughs> but you know he he, pre he proved to be prophetic in that way you know he, he <laughs> proved to be prophetic in that way you know <laughs> Mr. West is in the building. What's up? Hi. Four. Met him, yeah, I think in 2002 or 2003. He was uh, recording a song with Brandy, and I was her friend, and vividly remember, you know, hanging out with him. And I mean, I was in, you know, love with her before I even got to, you know, ever talk to her. Can we just show a picture of that precious baby? Aww. Aww. She right? changes all the time. One, you know, one day she'll look like Kanye, one day she'll look like me.
So Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye, and Kim, surprisingly guys, they used to hang out. They used to go to award shows together. They were spotted out um, behind the scenes together, going to events after award shows together. And even Kim was at a concert with Beyonce hanging out. But I don't know what happened. Something happened once Kanye proposed to Kim Kardashian. Suddenly after that proposal, the relationship turned sour. And some people believe that it's because Beyonce and Jay-Z saw Kim as a Kim and Kanye as competition and wanted to distance himself. Also, some people believe it's because Beyonce didn't like Kim. You guys let me know what you guys think. It's no secret that Kim tried everything she could to befriend Beyonce, but that didn't work. She didn't even attend Kim and Kanye's wedding, even though Kim specially invited her and engraved her name on a marble chair. Beyonce posted this picture on Instagram on the day of the wedding as a way of telling the world that she didn't really have an emergency. She just didn't want to go. About, I was hurt about them not coming to the wedding. I understand they was going through some things, but if it's family, you know, you're not going to miss a wedding. I'm past it, but at the time I was hurt about it. Kanye West revealed quite the shocker last week. His daughter Northwest has never met Beyonce and Jay-Z's daughter Blue Ivy Carter. I can't say that they play together. Kanye obviously wanted both girls to grow up together and be best friends. But according to reports, Beyonce wasn't having that because she didn't want to expose her daughter to the lifestyle of the Kardashians. The fact that B ignored Kim at the awards and skipped her wedding have genuinely irritated Kim. Kim thinks that Beyonce has always been very arrogant and aloof around her. Kim always made a real effort to get to know her and Jay, but she was always left with a very cold feeling. Beyonce's red carpet appearance was timed separately from Kim's, as well as their distance inside the awards. But while his relationship with Kim affected his relationship with Beyonce, what finally broke them apart was when Kanye decided to fight dirty. You know me, I went down seven years of my life of motherfuckers hating me for saying Beyonce had the best video. Beyonce, I was hurt. Cause I heard that you said you wouldn't perform unless you won video of the year over me and over Hot Live They got all the motherfucking trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? The one with Beyonce. <laughs> no, if you don't sign, you don't give him a trophy, she ain't coming. Sometimes we be playing the politics too much and forgetting who we are. Just to win. Fuck winning. Fuck looking cool. Fuck looking cool. Fuck being cool. Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still ain't called me. Jay-Z, call me. Hey, bro. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't sit them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. Now, after Kanye went on this rant, he abruptly quit his tour and he was admitted into a mental hospital. Oh. A rep for Kanye has also told Billboard that the rest of the St. Pablo tour has now been canceled. So what is going on with Ye? Well, we are hearing that the pressure of touring and his fashion business are all getting to Kanye and he hasn't even had the chance to process what happened to Kim in Paris. And then he didn't. Then, you know, they had the gun up to me and I just like knew that was the moment. They're just totally going to shoot me. I have a family. I have my kids, like my husband, my mom, like... I'm not gonna make it out here. Like, I know how these things go. Kim is trying to support him as much as possible, and it was she who suggested he cancel the rest of his shows for his own health. After his wife Kim Kardashian was robbed in Paris, Ye couldn't believe Jay Z didn't call to check on them. I believe this was the final message Ye needed to be convinced that his brotherhood with Jay Z had died. After the robbery, you say, How you feeling? You wanna know how I'm feeling? Come by the house. I am above, below, none of y'all. We all equal. 2016, West himself declared he was over $50 million in debt. $50 million in debt. $50 million in debt. You gave him 20 million without blinking. He gave you 20 minutes on stage. Fuck was he thinking? He said you gave him 20 million without blinking. He gave you 20 minutes on stage. Fuck was he thinking? He gave you 20 million dollars. That concept that you gave me, that he gave me the money, that's what frustrated me because actually, it, the money was he got from Live Nation. He. Rock Nation was managing me at the time. That's something normal that someone would give someone a, a touring deal. <laughs> touring deal. My, my issue, it just came down to information. I'm super hungry for information. I, I'm, I need information more than I need validation, more than I need finance. I need like, if I learn how to fish, then I can feed my family forever. So you feel yeah. like Jay was tossing you money as opposed to giving you the information? You feel yeah. like Jay was tossing you money as opposed to giving you the information? You feel yeah. like Jay was tossing you money as opposed to giving you the information? You know, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. going to be complications in the yeah. relationship that we have to get through. And the only way to get through that is we sit down and have a dialogue and say, these are the things that I'm uncomfortable with. These are the right. things that are unacceptable to me. This is what I feel. I'm sure he feels that I've done things to him as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just that 
there's certain things that happen that I, I, it's not really acceptable to me. And we just need to speak about it. You got hurt because this guy was talking about you on a stage. But what really hurt me, my, you can't bring my kids into my, my wife into it. Like mm -hmm. Kanye's my little brother. He's talked about me a hundred times. He made a song called Big Brother. We've, got, we've, gotten, right. we've, gotten, we've gotten past bigger issues, but you brought my family into it. Now that's a problem with me. That's a real, real problem. Now we have to, we have to, and he knows the problem because me and him would have been talked about. We'd have been resolved that issue. But he know that he crossed the line. I know him. He knows. He's, he's, he has. He knows. And only he has to know. I know he knows, because we've never let this much space go between one of our uh, disagreements. And we've had many. It depends on how you look at it. If we're family, if we're brothers, and we are family, then it's your family too. Then it's my family. Mm -hmm. If we're business associates and this, then it was too far. Oh. Because I always feel like, man, I'm not here in Hollywood. I'm not here like my mom's past. I don't know who I can trust. Kanye West, Grammy winning musician, fashion designer, and now billionaire. You're not a boss, you got a boss. You're not a boss, you got a boss. If I wasn't shining so hard, wouldn't be no shade. Jerk, that shit hurts. I take it personally. Niggas rather work. For the man in the work with me. They were putting together a special project, piece by piece, patiently building momentum. What was originally meant to be an EP turned into a monumental joint album between Kanye and Jay. Brimming with experimental production, lush samples, and an incredible sense of scale, the album was an announcement that Kanye and Jay-Z were the kings of their domain. The project demanded reverence, as the album would be called Watch the Throne. Jay-Z was the early winner with two trophies and then added a third during the main telecast last night at the 55th Annual Grammy Awards. He was honored for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song for his collaboration with Kanye, in Paris, and for Best Rap Sung Collaboration for No Church in the Wild, off Watch the Throne, which the pair did with Frank Ocean and The Dream. You know, when we were doing Watch the Throne, I was there, you know, in service to Jay. In service to myself, too, you know. But I was there where every piece of information was a... Uh, open source directly for, you know, my idol, for Jay. And that's where we were at the time. And if that's the case, then, you know, yeah, he's gonna be around more. Right. You know, so we're gonna, I took New Day off on my next album, I took right. Otis on my next album, and we got into this big argument because he had this song called Holy Grail that he had Justin Timberlake oh, singing Justin Timberlake on. on it. And I was like, we need to put this on this album. And then he's like, nah. And that's why everybody knows Jay is very selfish. Um, he wouldn't give that song. I'm like, man, I'm giving all okay, so this. What you're saying is Holy Grail was originally supposed to be on Watch the Throne? No, it was supposed to be on his album. Okay. So he and I said, it. we need this because we don't need to be losing like how LeBron and them had just lost in this championship. Oh, he wanted he to make the album better. And that's where we were at the time. And if that's the case, then, you know, yeah, he's going to be around more. Right. You know, if I, you know, I went off and, you know, started focusing on clothes and uh, building my company and my, you know, my factory and my office and just focus on my family, all this. And, you know, uh, that's what happened. So basically, in so many words, Kanye is basically saying that when he's in service to Jay-Z, when he is um, benefiting Jay-Z, such as the first album that he did that blew up Jay-Z and even this album that he won three awards or more from, um, it's all good. They're brothers, they're friends, they're the best buds. But once Kanye starts focusing on himself and doing his own thing, focusing on his own build, uh, building his own brand, the brotherly title doesn't exist. And he basically doesn't give him any love if it's not about building his career. But to be number one, I'm a beat my to be number one, I'm a beat my brother. His finances have skyrocketed past the six billion dollar mark, which makes him the richest black man in U.S. history. Kanye's Yeezy shoe and streetwear empire are seeing a surge in value, and the fashion venture is worth 3.7 billion dollars. That's just that one venture. The rapper also has a Gap apparel line that's worth another billion dollars. That will launch this summer. That shit is irking to me. Pride always goeth before the fall, almost certainly. Pride always goeth before the fall, almost certainly. Ripped away the shroud of secrecy about the fallout of her billion dollar divorce from Kanye and how it's affected their four kids. I'm bad at losing, I'm bad at winning, I'm always saying the wrong thing, and uh, I wish Jay Z was here to say something politically correct for me, but uh, you know.
Now, after Kanye made these offensive tweets, he was restricted on Twitter and restricted on Instagram. His bank cut ties with him. Also, he lost very lucrative ties in the fashion industry. Adidas cut ties with him. Balenciaga cut ties with him. Vogue and Anna Wintour cut ties with him. He was also dropped by his talent agency. He lost various other deals with The Gap and Fortnite. Some reports say that his streams and sales have plummeted. His shows have been canceled. His documentary was shelved. Also, his interviews have been taken down. Not only that, Kanye's network has plummeted. After losing his Adidas deal, he lost around $400 million. So Kanye truly might be canceled for real this time after making those anti-Semitic comments. Kanye West, uh, uh, are we friends? <laughs> are, are we not friends? That's my brother. It's, we, we're beyond friends. Really, like, literally, my little brother is Kanye. Mm -hmm. And, like, your little brother, things happen sometimes. But genuine love dance. Genuine love dance. Genuine love dance. Mm. Do you and Jay still have a great relationship? Because, you know, you said yeah. that was your idol, but, you know, you, yeah. you work hard till your idols become your rival. You work hard till your idols become your rival. You work hard till your idols become your rival. So, honestly, guys, it's safe to say that Jay-Z and Kanye West are not friends or brothers. And let me, after doing a, a, like some videos on Jay-Z, I did a video on Jay-Z vs. Dame Dash, um, someone who he used to consider a best friend and went into the business together, check out the video. And now I'm doing a, a deep dive into his relationship with Kanye West. And I'm starting to see a pattern here. I am starting to realize that Jay-Z's love language is business. And if you mess up his business, it's almost like you don't, you've messed up the relationship. I think his idea of love, I think his idea of showing love and being loving is forming a business with you. Kanye West was looking for a real relationship with Jay-Z that, that was, you know, transcended business. But what he doesn't understand is that Jay-Z's idea of love and a relationship is business. It makes me want to do a deep dive into Beyonce and Jay-Z and their relationship, right? Because Beyonce, if I remember correctly, Beyonce got rid of her father because he didn't know how to be a father. He only knew how to be a business. He kept making it professional, kept trying to make to be a manager, and she wanted a father. So she married a man that believes love is business in Jay-Z. This is kind of interesting. It makes you want to look into their relationship and and kind of you know break apart what's really happening there in terms of is there really love there or is it like um familiarity right um is beyonce really happy if this relationship you know basically if she's not in business with him he there's no love there he doesn't know how to have love outside of a business you have to be a business for him so how does beyonce feel about that and um i'm gonna do a deep dive into that so please make sure you like comment share and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you can get notified when i do make a video on that all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys peace